from previous few lectures we have started to deal with the problem of uh, sommerfeld's quantum theory actually in this regard you have seen how we can find the energy eigen value and the eigen function of a free electron gas in one dimensional box okay and after calculating the energy eigen value and eigen function just in previous lecture we have seen the calculation of two very important quantities and those were fermi energy and the total energy of electron in a metallic specimen now today uh, we will see the calculation of a very important quantity which is called density of states actually using or utilizing the result of previous lecture particularly uh, the expression for energy eigen value we will be able to find the expression for density of states so uh, i have mentioned here that uh, when we consider that a free electron is inside a one dimensional potential box or you can say inside a one dimensional crystal then if the electron is in its nth energy level then its energy is given by this formula e is equal to n square pi square h bar square over 2 ml square okay and you know that uh, this uh, <coughs> reduced planck's constant h bar is equal to h over 2 pi so this result can be equivalently written as e equal to n square pi square over 2 ml square times h square by 4 pi square actually this h square over 4 pi square has been written at the place of h bar square and so now this pi square and pi square will cancel out and the expression for energy is h square over 8 ml square times n square here i have not uh, written the subscript n in the expression of energy due to some cause which, which will be just clear some time later you will see okay so this is our previous result now uh, as i have told you that uh, in this lecture our aim is to define and find the expression for density of states so what is this density of a state the meaning is actually <coughs> clear from its name when you say states that means uh, electronic quantum states so this density of states is defined by the number of uh, electronic quantum states in the unit energy range in unit energy range how many quantum states of electron are present that represents the density of states okay normally uh, we denote this by d of e uh, in some books you will also see that this is denoted by z of e in statistical mechanics particularly this is denoted by g of e but uh, these are symbols uh, meaning remains same okay so in a state of this d of e you may equivalently write z of e or g of e so according to the definition of density of states you can say that it is simply the number of quantum states or number of electronic quantum states in the unit energy range okay so now let us consider that uh, the energy of our electron lies between e and e plus de so de is the energy range we consider and in this energy range we consider that this dn is the number of electronic quantum states you know, between the energy e and e plus de now according to definition you can see since in de energy range the number of electronic quantum state is dn and so for unit energy range this will be dn by de but according to the definition this dn by de which represents the number of quantum states of electron in unit energy range that is simply density of states so you can say that this d of e is equal to dn by d okay 
now we are talking about the electorate and you know a spin is an intrinsic property of electron so if you are dealing the problem quantum mechanically you must take under account the spin of electron and you know electron has two spin states which are called <coughs> up spin and down spin and for up spin you write the spin magnetic quantum number plus half and for down state you write it minus half and you have also seen uh, in the previous lecture that the each energy level is doubly degenerate it means when you say this is an energy level and uh, there is an electron here the probability of uh, a spin may be up and down okay so each energy level has two spin states that is up spin state and down spin state and both are distinct quantum states so corresponding to each energy level there are two electronic quantum states when you consider the spin so i have mentioned it here that uh, taking the spin of electron under account we know each energy level is doubly degenerate that is each energy level contains two electronic quantum states one with a spin up uh, for which ms is equal to plus half and uh, the other with a spin down uh, that is for ms equal to minus half okay so the actual density of states when you want to define you must multiply this equation 1 by the factor 2 so taking the spin under account the density of states or the correct uh, definition or correct value for the density of a state of electron that will be twice of this tn by d so we must multiply by the factor 2 to equation 1 to get the density of a state of electron particularly if the particle is spinless it has no spin then this will be the effective density of states but in case of electron the density of a state will be just double of that value defined in equation 1 so d of e is equal to 2 times dn by d now to get the expression for this d of e we will have to find the value of this derivative that is dn by d and that can be easily obtained by using the expression for energy eigen value of the electron in nth quantum state nth energy level not quantum state so see e is equal to this much you have seen so let us differentiate this e with respect to n to get this value so de by dn what will be that that will be simply a h square over 8 ml square times 2 n okay you can see now this 2 will cancel and here will be 4 and so the de by dn is what this is h square over 4 ml square times n but in our expression there is dn by de so you can now find dn by de which will be just reciprocal of this and so dn by de is equal to 1 over n times 4 ml square over h bar square so now let us substitute this value of dn by de in this equation number 2 okay and so you will get that d of e is equal to twice of 1 over n times 4 ml square over h square okay and so this is simply equal to 1 over n times 8 ml square by h square now this n can be also obtained in terms of energy using the same expression for energy eigen value you have seen that e is equal to this much this is h square over 8 ml square into n square and so from here this 1 over n is equal to this much this is a square root of h square over 8 ml square times e so now let us substitute this value of 1 over n here in this equation 4 
So substituting this, we get that this d of e is equal to this much. This is a square root of h square over 8 ml square e times 8 ml square over h square. Okay. So after simplification, you will get that this d of e is equal to this much. This is 4l over h times m over 2e to the power half. Okay. Sometimes uh, this uh, density of a state is also expressed like this. D of E, D E is equal to 4L by H bar square, H, H, bar, H square, not H bar square, square root of M over 2E times D E. Actually, when you write the expression in this way, it indicates that energy of electron is lying between e and e plus d so to refer the range the expression for density of states is sometimes written in this manner and you can write it but meaning is same now you can see that this density of a state actually depends on the value of energy of our electron and how it is related you can see that this density of a state is just inversely proportional to a square root of energy of the electron. Okay, So you can see when E will tend to 0, D of E will tend to infinity. But you know E is never 0. The least value or the 0 point uh, energy of electron in a metal is simply equal to E1 which is pi h bar square over 2 ml square. E is never 0. So and when E tends to infinity, what will be D of E? You can see the expression that will tend to 0. So the graphical plot of D of E in against of E will be like this. You can see. Here in this figure you can see that the least value of energy is this E1 it is not zero and it is you can also see that here energy is equal to fermi energy okay and the all the levels all the energy levels are filled by the electron or occupied by the electron up to this fermi level okay but after for uh, the levels for which e is greater than ef all the levels are empty okay in fact uh, in a metallic crystal it is found at zero kelvin temperature that all the levels below the fermi level are occupied levels that is occupied by the electron but all the energy levels above the fermi level are empty but this fact it holds at zero kelvin temperature remember so at zero kelvin temperature this fermi level is the level which differentiate the occupied energy levels and the unoccupied energy levels in a metallic crystal. Okay, So I think uh, this was a very short lecture but very interesting, very important for you and you have definitely enjoyed it. Okay, Thank you very much.